Peggy 16. Dust is different pretty much by virtue of what it really is. Dust is a, a, a persistent FPS on PlayStation 3 that not only is it directly linked to EVE Online, uh, PC MMO, it's set directly within the EVE Online universe. One of the most compelling motivations for Dust is that we wanted to reveal to players a part of the EVE universe that has always existed alongside with spacefaring. And that is the planets themselves. We want to show people that this rich and immense part of the EVE universe where earthbound humans lived and struggled has always been there for thousands of years. And now, Dust will be the portal through which players are going to be able to experience it. The base theme in Dust is that you are essentially working for corporations that are essentially interstellar. Um, so you're working for corporations that have massive space stations and gigantic spaceships in orbit and that they need resources and that they need things built down on the planets and those assets on the planets are what you fight over. Well, one of the key differences with Dust is that being set in the New Eden universe means that we already have a universe that's been in existence for eight years now with thousands and thousands of players. Within this universe, Dust players can cooperate and form corporations, our equivalent of guilds or clans, with, together with EVE players to take control of planets and even star systems within the EVE universe. And the results of these conquests and these conflicts can actually have an impact on players not directly involved in them. There are many that love the EVE universe, its setting and overall concept, but feel that the EVE online gameplay is either too complex or just not interesting to them. So we wanted to allow those and others to experience the universe and felt that the best way to do that would be to develop a, a console product with a different playstyle. We explored many different ideas, ranging from porting EVE to the console to RTS spin-offs, but obviously it didn't feel right to bring PC-specific gameplay and controls onto the console. We felt that an FPS would be the best style of gameplay, and once we set the direction of creating a true MMO FPS on the PlayStation, connecting it in real time with EVE Online, following the tradition of true sandbox gameplay, and allow players to facilitate their own social institutions, we realized the possibilities were endless. To try and pull all of these threads together, what Dust is really about for us is trying to create an experience that's about more than just shooting the other guy in the face. Everything that you're deploying with onto the battlefield you own, you've bought, you, you, ha you take ownership of. So there's actually a greater sense of loss. It's not just some vanilla tank that's spawning out of nowhere that's getting destroyed. It's yours. You're invested. You've fought hard to take control of a planet and either conquer the infrastructure that's there or invest together with your corp mates and build this. So when somebody comes to try and take it away from you, I mean, this matters. There's meaning here. That's really what Dust is all about.